The American Psychiatric Association defined anxiety as a negative mood state characterized by a set of behaviors such as fidgeting, physical tension, and worried facial expressions. An individual's anxiety is a subjective sense of unease due to things such as apprehension about a future meeting or confrontation with a friend. Through interpreting one's physiological responses, which originate in the brain, will then be reflected in bodily changes such as increased heart rate and muscle tension. For example, when laboratory rats are exposed to light and subsequently given an electric shock, once the light is flashed again, the rats will engage in fidgeting, trembling, and retreat to the corner of the cage. This reaction is also found in humans. Additionally, increased anxiety is suggested by Barlow to be correlated with depression. While anxiety is not pleasant to experience, in small amounts, it is actually beneficial for humans. This is also the case with stress, to which Lazarus said arises when an individual perceives they cannot adequately cope with the demands of the situation. Both stress and anxiety increases an individual's arousal state, thus increasing the bodily changes mentioned. The yerkes dodson law provides a clear representation of how a little amount of arousal and stress is good for performance, but if you experience too much, then your performance will start to decrease. Depending if you are doing a simple or difficult task will alter one's ultimate level of arousal. For example, if the task is complex, requiring fine motor skills such as in a game of golf, then the optimum level of arousal is low. In contrast, if the task is relatively simple, requiring gross motor skills such as weightlifting, then the optimum level of arousal is much higher. In regards to state and trait anxiety, trait anxiety refers to one's general level of stress that is characteristic of an individual. Thus, trait anxiety is related to one's personality. State anxiety can be defined as nervousness or discomfort caused by the arousal of the autonomic nervous system, which is induced by different situations perceived as dangerous. Endler and Kowalski discussed how it is an interaction between an individual's trait anxiety and the situation that determines their level of state anxiety. The feature of trait anxiety and the stressful situation must be congruent in order to evoke an increase in state anxiety. It will now be explained how Paula's level of arousal, stress, and anxiety have influenced her in the rowing race. An hour before the rowing race, Paula exhibits a low arousal state and describes herself as relaxed, admiring the view and not worrying about the race. Ten minutes before, however, Paula began to experience a rush of negative thoughts concerning her fear of letting the team down. These psychological cognitions can be attributed to Paula's trait anxiety as she would think about how losing would disappoint everyone instead of focusing on the task she was about to commence. Just before the race had started, Paula began to experience the physical symptoms of anxiety, such as increased heart rate, cold and hot flushes, and notably dry throat. She appeared distracted, focusing on the other team instead of what she was about to do. She is psyching herself out by noticing how the other team is much larger in weight than her team, arguably increasing her state anxiety and thus arousal. The race has begun and Paula is still distracted, not focusing on the race, and with the increasing heart rate, it appears she is past her optimum level of arousal. With Paula worsening in her performance, she misses a stroke, which according to the Yerkes dodson law, the amount of stress she is currently experiencing is now reducing her performance. Once Paula was able to focus on the task, she was able to reduce her trait anxiety and thus reducing her arousal state, improving her performance. Following this, she felt better, less anxious, and experienced a surge of energy, which could be the adrenaline being released in her body. This would mask any pain she was feeling, allowing her to improve her performance even more.